Today on the food crush, we're gonna make pork paprikash. Hello everyone! For some rainy and breezy summer days, I just thought a nice and comfort dish would be a great idea. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make pork paprikash. Let's get started! First of all, for the preparation, we're gonna dice half an onion. After that, dice or chop 2 medium tomatoes that will be um, the main ingredient for our sauce so make sure you chose the best, maybe a little bit ripped ones. For the pork, cut about 400 grams into bite side piece. You can use any part of your choice but I recommend fat and tender cuts than pork chops. Transfer pork to a bowl, season with 1 tablespoon sweet paprika, generously season with salt and pepper, toast to coat and we will leave it there for about 15 minutes before cooking, just enough for seasoning to soak in the pork. Heat a large frying pan over medium high heat, melt 1 tablespoon unsalted butter or put in 2 tablespoon oil, Cook pork and toast occasionally until lightly brown on all sides, about 4 to 5 minutes. Transfer to a plate and return pan to stove. Melt 1 tablespoon butter on the frying pan, add onions, stir constantly until soft and fragrant, about 2 to 3 minutes. Return pork to pan, mix well with the sauteed onions, about 1 to 2 minutes. Add 1 more tablespoon sweet paprika, season with more salt and pepper and stir occasionally until you combine then cook for about 2 minutes more. Add diced tomatoes, rolling by 100 ml fresh water, Stir occasionally and cook for further 3 to 4 minutes until tomatoes are soft and easy to smash. Reduce the heat and simmer to thicken the sauce just a little bit. After that, gently put in about 200 ml creme fresh or sour cream. This will give our dish a nice and creamy texture. Stir well until combine and turn the heat, season if needed with salt and pepper. If you find the sauce too sour for your taste, feel free to sprinkle with some teaspoon white sugar to balance the flavors. Finally, sprinkle with chopped fresh parsley and we are ready to serve. This dish will be the best served with warm pasta or noodles or some freshly baked bread. It's simple, delicious and flavorful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck and bon appétit. Mwah!